Last night, Governor Jared Polis informed the public about bills he signed into law and bills he vetoed. Yeah, one bill he rejected aimed to increase affordable housing. That bill was sponsored by other Democrats, and one of them tells reporter Aaron Adelson the decision came without a heads up. We are clearly facing an affordable housing crisis. It had its supporters. Nearly two-thirds of all Colorado legislators liked it enough to pass it. One important tool to address this crisis. What it said in essence was, if a property with 15 or more units went on the market, a city would get a right of first refusal, basically a first crack at purchasing it. State Representative Emily Sirota thought the governor liked the idea to help deal with an affordable housing crunch. We understood him to be comfortable with the bill and willing to sign it. 6 p.m. Tuesday, the governor vetoed it. It was a huge surprise. In his veto letter, Governor Jared Polis wrote he is not supportive of a required right of refusal that adds costs and time to transactions. They always say, oh, you're going to ruin the X economy here. You're going to crash X market. The governor wrote he was disappointed stakeholders came to him after the session to express their concern. Stakeholders like Colorado concern. It's that move uh, from private property ownership uh, to government ownership that sort of was the initial um, thing that we looked at. Colorado Concern is a pro-business organization. President Mike Kopp says as time passed, they learned more reasons to dislike the bill. Colorado Concern came in uh, behind the scenes, has the governor's ear, and got their way. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that means. Um, I've never spoken to the governor about this bill ever. And the fact of the matter is that we have divided power for a reason in our country. The governor says moving forward, he wants stakeholders to express their concerns during the legislative process.